Welcome to episode one of how to build threads from scratch. So first we're gonna get started um, the same way. We're gonna use a regular Expo app, um, and then we're gonna also install GlueStack. So this is gonna be a new um, UI framework that we're gonna use. GlueStack is actually built on top of native wind, which is built on top of Tailwind. Um, and it's very similar to ShadCN for the web side of things. So basically it's ShadCN for um, React Native, and not even just React Native, because if we go down here to, let's see, there's some example apps down here. Oh, it's all the way at the bottom. It's kind of annoying. Um, you can see that if you were to build this for both um, web, web and native, there are breakpoints that it would work on a web page as well. So you could technically use React Native and uh, glue stack to build for mobile first and then it would also work on web as well but for this one we're just going to do an app um, maybe this is a better example oh, here we go this is a better example you can see like this looks like a regular web page but then if we shrink it down to mobile and we could scroll down uh, and then it looks like an actual this looks like a, a version of Airbnb um, so it is kind of cool in that there is a lot of specific things that you have to get used to um, instead of just uh, views and text box or text uh, components, they use these things called boxes. Uh, HStack and then VStack are two of the most popular ones. So HStack is just a horizontal 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 um, view. Let's say if we were to put uh, a view component with a class name of flex row and like justify between, this is basically the same thing, but instead of that, we could just do HStack. And so we're gonna have to install it and then import it, and then that's how we use it. But it has a lot of cool features um, that are already styled out of the box, specifically like modals. These are pretty cool. So these all work in in mobile portals. We don't use portal, but in our tutorial, we we do use a popover. We use a modal, and where's the drawer? Uh, that's a side drawer. Where's my bottom drawer? Oh, action seat. I, I really like this one too. So in the past, I've used um, a different library called Gorm Bottom Sheet Modal. Um, and they also, they actually have this as an alpha feature and they use the same library, Gorm Bottom Sheet. Um, but the action sheet's a lot more straightforward and it's a lot simpler. Uh, of course, you don't have the same flexibility as you do with Gorm, but um, it has a lot of like cool components right out of the box that look nice. So we're going to use this to get started. And so let's first go over to Expo. Let's install our project. I'm going to copy and paste it. And we're going to call it threads. And we're going to let that install. And so then once we go back to GlueStack, we want to see how we get this installed. So in GlueStack, um, once you do npx GlueStack, UI dash or UI init. Um, this will install Tailwind for you uh, and install native wind for you. So it'll also do all the setup with uh, the Metro config and everything. So we'll see that in a second. So we're going to CD into threads. And then can I do open actually? No. Let's go down a cursor. I had a lot of questions in the previous video of. Um, what add-ons I was using, and I wasn't using any add-ons, it's just using cursor. And so here we go. We have our app, so we have our default components. So let's get this up and running. So MPX expo start dash C. Um, and the dash C is just like a habit of mine, it's clearing the cache, but there's nothing cached right now, so you don't really have to do that but it's just something I got used to. So we're gonna run this. And actually before we do glue stack, we're gonna remove a lot of the default code. So right now we have the same uh, Expo template. We have this bottom bar. So we're just gonna delete everything. So, or everything that we don't need. So we don't need this scripts. This is just resetting. Um, all of this stuff are gonna keep the same. Let's remove this because we're going to create our own readme file. So I'm going to add a step-by-step -step for each video. I'm going to have a corresponding text section if you buy the course. Uh, and then it'll also come with the code as well. 
So we have tabs, layout. We're going to have the same tabs thing, but we don't need all of this code. So HTML layout, we're going to keep all of this. Um, let's just remove explore and then go to layout and then remove explore there as well. And assets, we'll keep for now. Components, I'm actually going to delete this whole folder. Uh, and you'll see why in a second because um, Glue stack will actually install it for you and it'll install a bunch of components. So I'm going to keep that on its own. Um, tab bar icon. I think this is using. Yep, yeah, that's worked. Okay. Constants, colors. Eh, I'll leave that for now. Whatever. I'm going to remove all the hooks. And fonts can stay the same. Hooks, use color scheme. No, we're not going to do that. So we're going to do. So Gluestack also has its own color scheme format. So we don't also definitely don't need this. So color focused. Let's see. Oh. Use color scheme. Color scheme. Oh. I don't think we need theme provider either. Make this simple, sim super simple. Not simple, simple. Reload. Themed text. Oh, I forgot it uses all of this in here. Okay, I'm just gonna replace it with a view, text, and then in React Native, view. None of these pages really get used anyway. Index. Index, we're just going to remove all this. So, so we don't have Tailwind installed yet or Navywind installed yet. So, we can't use class name. So, I'm just going to keep all of this with a regular styles. Okay, so. Yeah, icons, expo vector, build icons. That is not right. Reload. Okay, now we just have home, plain layout, plain home screen, plain regular layout. We didn't touch HTML, not found. Assets will update later. Constants. These aren't being used anywhere, but uh, I'll just delete the file. Hooks, nothing, no modules. Okay, so now we have a plain app. We have threads. All we have is Expo Router. All right, next up we're going to do is actually add glue stack. So let's plain Expo Project. Um, and then if you download the code, you'll have the access to each branch that I create. So get branch. So let's do get checkout dash branch one setup okay and then let's go over and ins init and 
I wanted to remove everything first because you'll see everything that gets added from glue stack, which is kind of cool. Uh, so we do have an extra, so it shows you all the files that it's going to modify. So Babel, Metro, it's going to add a tail when config, global CSS, and I click yes. So that's why I want to make sure you save what you're working on before because it does make a lot of changes. And then just wait for that. Oh, it's going to take a couple of minutes. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we see everything in green is what he added. So it has this tailwind config with, in the TikTok tutorial, we had to add this ourselves. Um, so basically added a bunch of custom, custom styles. So before, this is, remember, this is the files that you're being, you're using tailwind or native wind in. Everything in the app folder, everything in the components folder. So if you create a new folder, you have to make sure you put it in there. And then this theme, it's overriding what comes default into Tailwind already. So you could customize, you could add to this if you like, but um, GlueStack has its own custom add-ons. So we have native wind. So this file is added so that um, once you type in, let's say, uh, that's a bad example, an actual file. So if we were to do class name equals so see how it started off as red there. So without this native wind dash env dot d dot ts file, it will um, complain to you. So actually, let's see. I might have to rerun it for it to actually show what I'm talking about. Uh, text. Yeah, see, there you go. So that red, if you see that, that means you need a file and you have to have this slash 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 reference native wind types. And if we add it and save, it goes away. So that's what that file does. Metro config, it's just bundling the package with this global CSS and global CSS. If you've ever done a web project with Tailwind before, it's the same exact thing. It's importing the base styles from Tailwind, uh, the base components and utilities, and then integrating that into the whole build itself. Um, and then glue stack UI config, that's for glue stack. And then components. So right now we only have components UI, glue stack, UI provider. So this is the very basic part. We don't actually have any of the actual glue stack components yet. So what we want to do, you can add each one individually. So right now MPX glue stack UI add a box. Um, so let's show what that looks like. I don't want to add a box. I'm going to do H stack actually. And then if we do that, we can see it's already cloned and then it'll add to your components folder. So now we have access to this H stack. So if we were to go import H stack from components UI stack, and this is kind of cool because you can actually modify this if you want. It's not like pulling in from a hosted repo, it actually pulls in the files itself, which has its positives and its negatives, but I kind of like it because you can see where it's pulling in from. It's not just pulling in from the magic cloud. And if you want to add some of your own components, you can do that yourself as well. Uh, so now if we do H stack, we don't have access to a button yet. So let's just do two texts and I'm going to remove that one test and let's remove this styling because this actually does the same thing so again just do the wrap the whole thing in an h stack and let's do safe area view though which you can also import from um, Oh, of course it's not working for me now. H stack. Hmm. Maybe because I need to import text. So this is the part that's a little confusing about um, 
glue stack because sometimes if you let right now it's actually working so see how we have you can import text from react native or you can import text from the component that you just imported called text and sometimes um, if you rely on AI and cursor a little too much it'll import from the wrong area and let's see if I need to reset oh yeah detected a change with Babel config that's probably what it was I installed the library and didn't actually rebuild so it didn't have any of the Tailwind components or the native wind components in it Oh, there you go. Okay, so it wasn't that uh, I needed a text component. So I think if I just do text and use that instead, it still does the same thing. Okay, that's what it was. It wasn't that it needed to be in a specific glue stack text component. It was that nothing, no tail one was actually being imported because we didn't rebuild. Okay, so you can do that for each component, um, importing each one individually. But if you go back to the documentation, there's actually a lot here. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add all of them. And if you want, you can come back later and delete one, each one individually. And this is the good part of like You can see what's actually being called and what's you can manually delete it if you really want to. So let's do, I think it's dash dash all. Yeah. A few components already exist. So see how instead of doing add uh, a specific component you could just do dash dash all and then instead of like going back and forth and adding what you want you can see uh, i'm glad i have that folder open actually because you can see right away it has a bunch of stuff so accordion action sheet alert all the things that you would need and so there you go um that's our project setup we have a very basic this is a good starter for kind of any type of project um, because we have GlueStack, which installs native one, which installs Tailwind. So we have access to all of those components. We installed all the components itself. Uh, we cleaned up the files. And yeah, so we're going to commit those changes. Get them, get commit, add GlueStack. And um, that's going to be lesson number one. So I'm going to try and keep these a little bit shorter uh, to the point. And yeah, so this is our app. In the next uh, video, we're going to start adding Superbase and some our login methods. So we're going to add that phone, um, phone authentication feature from Superbase into our application. So hope you join. Click subscribe. Click that notification bell, uh, we'll release episodes every week and you'll get notified once a new episode goes live. So hope you join us.